as I have um, integrated my own feelings, my own fears, paid attention to what it is I'm the, the most afraid of, as I deal with that internally, it's what allows me to show up for you. Mm -hmm. Some of this stuff can't be learned in a book, it literally has to be lived. I have to be transformed by the fact that I am temporary. I can know it, that's one thing, but if I'm not willing to actually walk that and, and feel what that feels like, then I can't really show up in the way that I want to. Because here's the deal, when I'm sitting alongside somebody's bed who's getting ready to leave the planet, if I haven't consciously walked my own transitions and felt how frightening it is to let go of my life the way I know it, it's going to be a lot harder for me to show up for somebody who's getting ready to literally drop the body and totally give up how they know themselves. And so the, 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 what, what, makes, what makes me the most effective at what I do is the work that I do here in my own heart first because that's what allows me to show up. Because what makes a difference in serving anyone, whether it's in their dying, whether it's in any transition that they're in, and really everything that everybody's talked about this morning already is you're all working with people in transition because there isn't anything else, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. I mean, everything's changing all the time anyway. So no matter what relationship you're working in, it's, it's, a, it's a relationship of transition. And so, you know, the biggest reason why I wrote the book was to help people understand that Every single transition we go through in our lives is the preparation ground for the transition of dying because we know we're all going to do it. And if I can get conscious, if I can learn how to consciously walk the transitions in my life now, I will be prepared and have practiced how to let go. You know, the, the Buddhists are the ones that tell us all the time, we aren't just going to come to the end of our lives and then all of a sudden be calm and okay about letting go. Mm -hmm. You know, we die how we live. Mm -hmm. And if I have died anxious and hanging on to everything, you can bet that's how I'm going to die. And if I have practiced letting go and being flexible and allowing life and being able to stand in the question and be okay with not knowing, then that's how I'm going to die. It makes a difference what I do. And as I do that practice in my own life, it allows me to show up for those that I'm serving in a whole different way. So that's why I want us to spend some time today literally.